the internet is built on a premise that end devices are capable of protecting themselves. And as we heard last night, that might not be the case. If these are very little devices, you know, you know this, this, phone, this phone here right, might have uh, the ability to protect itself for a time until its manufacturer decides that it's not going to support it anymore. Well, at that point, this device is, becomes vulnerable, or soon thereafter it becomes vulnerable uh, to being exploited. And then either the owner's privacy can be violated, his identity stolen, money stolen, or the device itself could be used to attack other systems. If this device isn't capable of protecting itself, then the IETF's assumptions are wrong or outdated. And so we have three classes of devices that we now see developing on the internet. Those that can support themselves and protect themselves, those that can't support themselves and protect themselves, and then there's a gray area in the middle where sometimes they can and sometimes they can't. How do we manage that? That's an open question in this organization that we're going to have to come to terms with over the next year or two.